to my channel and if you're new here thank you for stopping by today I'm going to be doing a fun video for the collaboration hashtag how to botanical hosted by Rach and Bella with Rach and Bella crafts and today my day um, 29 I am going to be working with some cardstock 12 by 12 cardstock and I am going to be doing a master board. So this is a design uh, family heirloom. Let's see right there, you can see it. It's by Bow Bunny. And the back I'm going to uh, keep on the other side so that when I cut it up and use it for either tags or ephemera or use it in a journal that We'll have the roses on this side because this is such a beautiful design. Isn't that gorgeous? Love it. Um, and then I'm also going to be using possibly some of these washi tapes. And also going to be doing some stamping. These old Stampin' Up stamps some laces, maybe some clusters I'll put on there as well. And also we'll be tearing up some pages. So I hope you can jo join me um, while we just have a little fun and make a collage board. Okay. So I am going to be using my tear ruler and I have some papers here. I have doily and some digital paper, cardstock, some ledger paper, book pages, some coffee stained paper. So I will be using that as my base. And then we will go ahead and just tear some up and glue some down. So yeah, a master board is essentially just a collage board um, where you use glue and papers and um, book pages, just basically the things that I showed you and you glue it down and you can glue down your base and then you could glue down um, your focal points, fabrics, washi tapes, stamping, mixed media, and then you can cut it up and use it in a journal. Use it for card making. You can use it for scrapbooking. It's just a really fun way to do many different designs and and just some fun crafting that you could do. It's, I just love doing it, it's fun. All right, so we have a couple of pieces here. Just a couple pieces, so we have something to work with as a base. And I do like to tear my edges of the paper. I just like the way it looks. You can do it by hand, you can use a tear ruler, or you could just keep some of the straight edges because you're gonna be cutting into it anyway, most of the time. All right, so I think that's good for the book pages. Here's some of this ledger paper. Just so we have a couple pieces to work with and put down. And then we could start gluing it all down. Yeah, I've seen, um, I haven't really watched a whole ton of videos on YouTube for making master boards. Sometimes just to get an idea, I'll watch a couple minutes 
of a video from another YouTuber just to, you know, get the um, wheels moving and get some ideas. And then I kind of just like transfer it into my own and, and then it's always fun seeing what everyone else does. And I've seen people even do it with mostly um, fabric master boards. That's fun. You can always tear it up and you can do um, like a snippet roll type of master board, which is what I was going to try with you guys today. Um, but I decided to do, to do the good old paper and ephemera master board. So hopefully we could see all that. Let me just double check. Sorry about the shadows. The lighting isn't the greatest in, in my craft room right now. So I really love the way this paper looks. It's so nice. It always looks so pretty made into ephemera when you're using it in junk journals or as a page. And it also gives you such a great writing space, too. So I'm going to just lay this right in the middle here. There's no wrong or right way to do this. You just have fun with it. And that's why one of my favorite things to do is collaging. It can be very relaxing for some people, especially if you're using paints and all that fun mixed media stuff. Paints and sprays and waxes and all that good stuff. Here's some of this paper up. This is a digital, I'm not sure if, I don't think that's who made it. Um, but I printed it on pretty thick cardstock. So I'm sorry I don't know who did this design, but it is very pretty. would be fun too if you take the paper and you kind of crumple it up and wrinkle it up and make like some texture on your master board that always looks fun too I do love that look grungy vintage look as well is very very nice okay, we'll get those pieces glued down I usually like to use the Scotch Create glue. It's a very good um, glue for paper crafts. It's pretty 
um, has a nice strength when working with paper. And this one is actually not too bad, the washable sc school glue. I actually like it. Somebody recommended it in a, another crafting group and I thought I'd give it a try. And I like it, it works pretty good. There has been so many great videos so far. It's so different going last in the collaboration, but I hope that you guys will still come and join me since you've been all falling following along and enjoying all the videos that have been going up. I sure have. I haven't definitely caught up with all of them, but I have watched a handful of them and they're great so far. Which they usually always are. Rachel has a great team of people whenever she hosts these wonderful collaborations. And it's just been so fun. I think she, this is maybe the third collaboration she's done. And I always am excited to see who is going to be joining in. And finding a lot of new channels to watch as well is always fun. turning out so far. Let's put this doily down. This is a coffee dyed doily. And I'm not really, oops, I'm not really worried. I was just about to say, I'm not really too worried about um, the glue getting everywhere because I'm layering it. And this glue is also dries clear. So it's not terrible thing that it is purple. <laughs> okay, except that my hands are getting a little sticky. But it wicks away pretty easily. Alright, let me do this on the table. And if I do um, have any pieces that are coming up, we'll just go back and glue it. And I might even put some sealer on the top when I'm done, depending on what mediums I'm using in the end here. Um, I might go in with some of this matte Mod Podge, but we'll see here. All right, that looks really good. I'm really liking that so far. And I actually do love the flowers here on the cardstock. Um, but I do want to cover this top part up. So we will tear some of this paper. And we'll cover 
that up. You can use tissue paper, the Tim Holtz, um, sort of like a tissue paper and a roll and a plastic roll, which is really cool because he has so many different designs. Um, and I have them upstairs and I forgot to bring them down. I was thinking about using those as well, but I've seen in a couple videos, it looks great when people use it on the master board. Very, very nice. This is some Edith Holden page, book page. tend to concentrate a lot when I'm doing these boards. So I'm trying to also have a conversation with you all as well while I'm doing this. And sometimes that can be a little hard. Let's see. All right, I think so far I like that. I like how that looks. So I am going to actually start putting down some of my focal pieces. And here I have some Edith Holden um, book pages that I actually used a Fiskars paper edger. And this one's Victorian. So I just cut around it, the image, and I'm going to put some of these pieces down. Um, but actually, you know what? I am going to put down a little bit of washi tape first. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's just put some down over here. Like that. Pretty. And then I'll put a little bit up here. I love roses. I love this kit. I bought it as a kit um, with all these washi tapes and the ephemera. 
and it's just so pretty. Let's put some of the um, some of this one down. The the gold foil, I think it is. And let's see. I should have put this one. Put a little over here. Just as a little bit of an accent in some of the areas, I think will look really nice. What else should we put here? This one. These were all buttons. I love the colors on that. It's pretty cool. buttons here and there. That's cool. Alright. I think that's looking good so far. And then this is going to be hard to cut up this piece, but I think it'll still look good if it's cut in half as well with the different pieces of ephemera. It is a pretty good piece. I think I'm going to put it there. And then also I can always go back in and re and um, ink the edges as well, just to make it a little more vintage looking. I think that will look pretty there. some of these clusters down. Let me see if I can get my fabric tack. Now. 
So this is a fabric cluster. There's lace, fabric, scraps, and book page, and another piece of fabric, and then it's stapled down. And then you could even go back in and put like a, a bow there, or a flower, or some more fabric. So we are going to add the other cluster here. This is um, these I did not make, they were given to me. Um, I can't remember who gave them to me, but thank you. This is pretty. Then I'm going to take some of this trim here. Very pretty trim that I got from Crafty Me Shop. And I don't know, I think that's the side I might be using. Not quite sure, but it's fine. So let me get my scissor. And we'll cut some pieces off of this. Put some flowers on there. That will look pretty. see if my glue will cooperate here. <laughs> yep, here we go. Okay, let's see. I think this is the right side. glue. I got too many glues on me, you guys. And there goes my cap. It's pretty. I'm going to start gluing down some ephemera. I have this piece here. This came with the ephemera pack that went with the paper by Bow Bunny. This is so pretty. Uh, let's see. It would look good if I had a face in the middle. Let me see here what I have. a frame around it. Let's just glue this piece down as well.
and these are podgeable papers. Um, it came in like a pack. And if I find out who it was by, I'll, I'll uh, let you guys know. Let me see here. This would look pretty here. could glue this button somewhere. Maybe here. No. That looks good there. My camera keeps trying to focus on my glue. Sorry about that. this piece as well. I feel like botanical ephemera and journal kits and and all that great stuff that you can find on Etsy or just in, in magazines or books and, and things like that are they grow so well with vintage or shabby chic, grungy, you can make botanical and flowers and, and fruits and things like that just look so great with all of the other um, kits that you can find out there. I find it very easy to mix with uh, all of those different mediums and things. So it's very easy to add flowers or birds and things like that to just about everything that you're working with, I feel. This is a nice focal piece. Let's see where we could put this here. I know I don't want to cover up the flower. It's so pretty. Um, let's see. I think it'll go great here. This is pretty. This is looking so pretty so far. Hmm. Can we use this? Add some words, add some stamping, add some labels or tags. Those are all great things that you can add to your collaging or master board. Butterfly Whispers. Okay. I'm really liking how this is turning out so far. Um, I want to try to add some stamping. And I'm going to use some of the Stays On ink with these stamps. So let me just sit down and see if I could stamp this on here and see how that turns out. Oh, it looks like it's going to be the whole, the whole stamp, but I think that'll turn out great. All right. Let's see, where can we put it here? Right here, maybe. different. 
But I like it. I like the impression it left. So that's pretty. And then we'll go in with some of these leaves. And then I also have this small, tiny little stamp, and we're going to go ahead and stamp that on. Oh, oh, thank goodness that didn't leave a, a huge mark, but it's always easy to cover up, so it's fine. All right, let's see, we could put this here. I like these little stamps. You could just accent pretty much anything because they're so tiny. Little tags, little labels, envelopes. And it's just very subtle, but very effective. And it, you know, it doesn't have to be so, you don't have to do it straight. You can add it on an angle. I think I like that so far. Put this one here. Okay, I think that's good enough. can we add here? Maybe a little lace. I have this coffee dyed lace that we can add that I've been cut, cutting in half. So we could do that. And we can put this somewhere. Actually, put it. I think I might cut it smaller. Cut little smaller pieces. Let's put it at the top. Blue's drying a little bit. Dab that on because this glue is pretty sticky. And then we have another piece here. You might want to put that. Over here on the edge. I think will look good. Is clogging a little. That will work.
right. So we have we put our base papers down over cardstock. Again, this is the back. And I use the Family Heirloom by Bo, Bo Bunny. And we put some clusters down, some trim, some podgeable papers, some washi tape, some book pages and ledger paper, and I did some stamping. And I put some lace down, and I used some of the ephemera that the kit came with. And I think I wanna put down just a couple more pieces of ephemera, so let me grab that. Put some more words, some font, and it says special moments. I really like that. You guys, I hope you're crafting along with me and enjoying making our collage boards. It's always fun, like I said. You can always add your own touch and, and just do what your heart desires. It's, it's all fun. It doesn't have to be any certain way. And it always turns out very pretty and beautiful. And like I said, you can cut it all up, make tags and you can even fold this and make a folio or a cover of a journal. And you can do so many different things with this technique, which I really love. Let me glue this piece down, you guys. So I hope you guys will give it a try and enjoy the process because I really love making these and I think you will too. So I hope you enjoyed my video and I I am sure that you have been following along and all of the videos there are links of all of the crafters who are involved in this wonderful collaboration again hosted by Rach and Bella with Rach and Bella Crafts for the how to botanical um, collaboration. So feel free to go check them all out, you guys, and have fun crafting along. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.